Hello, welcome back to your Peachtree Accounting 2012 tutorial. And today we're going to learn how to set up or create a schedule for an automatic backup with your Peachtree Accounting software interface. So before you create your backup uh, automatically, the first thing that you want to do is to figure out which company file are you going to be backing up and the size of the company file and uh, the information that you will be atta attaching with that particular backup. The second thing is um, you want to find out how often are you going to create the backup. And the third is what's the destination or where are you going to place your backup? Is it going to be in a C drive or in a network drive or in the server drive or in an external hard drive? So those are the th things that you have to determine. Once you've determined it, the next thing is to create the backup and let's let me show you how to do that. So open your pitch to accounting software and then click on system. And then you're looking for this window on the left hand side that says backup data and click automate backups. This will pop out. This is a user control uh, account control and then you'll just click yes to this. And as soon as you get to this window, you will see this command or uh, menu here, but you're looking for the file location, the user details and the backup settings. And um, for this file location, this one is the location of the file that you want to back up. So, Obviously, this one is for the bill with their guardian supply because it kind of uh, default to this because that's the current company that's open. But if I want to, um, if you have multiple company file and you want to create a different backup for that company file, you want to browse the location of that file. For this uh, tutorial, I have it saved in my local desk drive. So I'm just going to browse it down to my Sage, Peachtree company, and then I'm going to back up these company here, the ISONET LL. So I'll click OK. And so that company directory is filled out. Then the next thing is to save back up to a location. So for me, I'm going to save that in my pitch tree work in my C drive, automate backup, and then I'll click OK. The next thing here is the user, user details. So what you need to do here is fill out your credentials in order to make sure that um, this will work. You want to verify the user details. Then once that's verified with two checks here, you're going to figure out the backup settings. So include if available, you can check all of these. You don't have to, but if you check both of these, include the archive companies and the attachment on the transactions that you've added into your company file. And if a backup file already exists, do you want Peachtree to automatically create a new backup file all over or overwrite the previous or the existing backup file? So for me, I want it to automatically create um, a backup file. This is great if you have a lot of space left in your computer or in your network to save that because you can always restore different days on your backup. Or if you're trying to save space, you probably want to do the overwrite the existing backup file. But for me, I want to do it this way. So after I finish completing this, I am just going to save this command or this backup scenario a speech tree backup. And then I'll say yes. Yes. So that's done. Now, um, so that's how to set up your or to schedule your automatic backup. And in our next tutorial, we're going to do the run backup and to set up your schedule. Thank you. And we'll see you then.